Hey Star Trek fans, Dan Gunther here with a special news video today bringing you some surprise announcements for the upcoming Nickelodeon Star Trek animated show, Star Trek Prodigy. Paramount Plus has today just released the names and backgrounds of all of Prodigy's alien characters, as well as announcing the voice actors who will be portraying these characters when the show arrives later this year. So without further ado, let's jump right into the news released today. The first character that we're going to be talking about is this character named Gwyn. According to the information released today, Gwyn is a 17-year-old member of the Val N Akat species, and I'm really not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'll have the spelling up on the screen here. This is a new race to Star Trek, never been seen before. She was apparently raised on her father's mining planet and grew up dreaming of exploring the stars. Gwyn will be played by a British actor named Ella Purnell. She was most recently seen in Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead on Netflix, and also starred in Sweet Bitter on Stars for its two seasons. Next up we have this character named Dahl. The name of this alien race has not yet been revealed. He is apparently a maverick who maintains a strong feeling of hope even during the bleakest of times. The character is 17 years old, and like I said, we don't know the name of the race, but Dahl will be played by Brett Gray. Gray currently stars as one of the leads on the Netflix series On My Block, and was also recently a guest star on When They See Us and Chicago PD. The next character is one that I'm really excited about. We have learned that this character is named Jankum Pog and is a Tellarite. So I freely admit... I thought for sure that this character would be a Talaxian, especially once we learned that the series would take place in the Delta Quadrant, but apparently he is a Tellarite. So Tellarites have been a part of Star Trek since the second season of the original series, and has entered the lore as one of the founding members of the United Federation of Planets. Jankum Pog is 16 years old and loves a good argument, just like most of the Tellarites we've seen before. Interestingly, regardless of his own opinion, he's always willing to play devil's advocate for the sake of hearing all sides. Now I'm really excited about the voice actor for this character. Jankum Pog will be played by Jason Mantzoukas, who many might recognize from the television shows Brooklyn Nine-Nine and The Good Place. He's also appeared in The League and did voice acting roles for Big Mouth, Invincible, and American Dad. I love Jason Mantzoukas. I think he is one of the wildest stars out there, especially on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I just love his character there. Very excited to welcome him into the Star Trek universe universe. Next up we have another member of a classic Star Trek species and I honestly did not see this coming. This robotic looking life form is named Zero and is a member of the Medusan species. So named because of the propensity for humanoid species to go insane when looking upon a Medusan. So in order to hide themselves from the view of other people, they encase themselves in protective enclosures. In this case, like I said, in this kind of robotic body. This species was first seen in the season 3 episode of the original series, Is There in Truth No Beauty? Very cool. Medusans are non-corporeal, kind of like an energy type creature. They're also genderless. And Zero will be played by British actor Angus Imrie. Now, I personally have seen Angus Imry in Netflix's The Crown. He played Prince Edward in that series. He's also recently guested in Fleabag and the Batman prequel series Pennyworth. So, very excited for this character. Definitely not what I expected. I thought he was a robot of some kind. Instead, they are uh, this genderless, non-corporeal Medusan who, like I said, we've not seen in canon Star Trek since the original series. So, very excited about that. Next up, we have this little blob who apparently is named Murph and is described as an endearing, indestructible blob with curiously good timing and an insatiable appetite for ship parts. This is the character that when they were first revealed in that picture most intrigued me, just kind of this sparkly looking gelatinous creature. But what's really cool is Murph is going to be voiced by D. Bradley Baker. 
Now, Star Wars fans might know him as Captain Rex, and of course, all of the other clone troopers in Star Wars, the Clone Wars. Rex also appeared in Star Wars Rebels. And of course, we currently have the Bad Batch. D. Bradley Baker plays all four members of the Bad Batch, plus any of the other clones that show up. He's a very prolific voice actor. He also voices the Fish Klaus on American Dad, and apparently plays Animal on the current run of Muppet Babies. Uh, he's played hundreds of characters, he's had a very long and prolific career, and I'm very excited that he is now a part of the Star Trek universe through playing this wonderful character named Murph. Now, rounding out the alien characters here, this one is also very exciting for myself. As a huge fan of the Star Trek novels, we have this creature called a Brykar named Rock Tok. Rock Tok is an unusually bright eight-year-old girl She's a bit shy, but does not hold back when it comes to her love of animals. Now, Brykars have a history, like I said, in the Star Trek novels. They were first introduced in the young adult novel Worf's First Adventure, and the character of Zach Kebron played a large role going forward from that in Peter David's New Frontier series. So back when this character was first revealed, I was thinking, oh, it'd be very cool. This kind of looks like a Brykar. And it turns out that is exactly what she is. So I am totally thrilled that that species has made the jump from the novels into canon Star Trek as well. So very, very excited about that. The young actor who is playing this character is named Riley Alazraki. And I I hope I'm pronouncing that right. She is just 10 years old. She's been in the business for a very short time. Definitely one of the younger members of Star Trek casts. So very cool to welcome her to the Star Trek universe. She has recently contributed voices to the Cartoon Network's Summer Camp Island. And we're really looking for great things from her and this character in the future. So... Yeah, so excited about all of these characters. And of course, we also have Kate Mulgrew as Catherine Janeway, the holographic version of her as outlined in the press release a little while ago. So along with these announcements, we did also get a few stills from Star Trek Prodigy, such as this one of Dahl gazing out into space from aboard a starship. I'm assuming the ship that he's on might be the ship that they're kind of on for the series. We still don't know anything about where that ship came from or, or really what it's all about and why it has a Janeway hologram as part of it. We also got this still of Rock Talk at work. Now keep in mind this is an eight-year-old character, but apparently doing some welding, so very technically minded uh, young person here. I also love the idea of a big huge hulking eight-year-old girl alien with probably this, you know, young girl's voice coming out of out of them. So uh, yeah, very interesting character designs here. We also have a shot of Gwyn here as well. This is the character played by Ella Purnell and the character Dahl listening through an air vent. So yeah, lots of interesting glimpses into what we have coming up in the series here. I gotta say, just for myself, this animation looks positively gorgeous. I love the color palette. I love the look of everything. I think this is going to be just a visually stunning series. And based on things that I've heard from people who are close to the production, I'm, I'm very excited for the storytelling and, and where this is going to propel the Star Trek universe. So... I want to hear from all of you. Do you have any thoughts on these characters, the casting, or any other aspect of Star Trek Prodigy that was released? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. No word yet on a release date, just that it is coming later this year. So I'll be keeping my ear close to the ground for any news about when we might learn the release date for this series. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks, of course, to the Patreon supporters for all of their help in bringing these episodes to you. I could not do it without you. Thank you so very much. To everyone else, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to check out my videos. Subscribe to Kurt Ratz Productions if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video. Until then, as always, live long and prosper.